you're just now tuning into my channel my name is Naya Zuzi I'm a 23 year old um, black female entrepreneur I run my own business <laughs> out of my house it is a catering service where I specialize in Congolese food but I'm not just limited to Congolese food I cook um, everything really um today's a business day and I wanted to take you guys along with me about what I do you basically saw the montage of the things that I do um, and so I'm about to get started the time is about 10 20 ish and so I'm about to get started I'm about to light the grill um, actually let's take a look at my goals so besides lighting the grill um, first on my list is to announce the giveaway winner I did do a giveaway make my samosas I'm pretty fast at those create the graphics for we're open because for some reason I always lose those on my laptop I need to post about strict closing times because people try to come after the time that I close and as a business owner you need to set boundaries I need to check my website for errors and I need to post that we are open at 1 30 and also make sure that I am ready to be opened at 1 30 um, these are just some things that I wrote down just to help me remember that customer service is important I need to rem remember to remain contactless because this is corona time and I need to turn off my do not disturb so that all calls can come directly to me if clients have any questions um, and also take it off silent um, and then these are daily affirmations that I make um, just because I'm someone who's struggled a lot with my mind so these are things that I have to tell myself you will sell out of everything <laughs> and I always really do I still have like 95% of my things you will get new clients today you will not get stressed and God is in control so I'm about to cheat a little bit. Um, I'm about to turn on the grill first and then I'll post the giveaway winner. I'm so excited because I'm on the road to 1,000 followers. By the way, if you're not following me, I will put it right here. It's at each yeah, yeah, and that way you'll see everything. And you can also visit our website. That'll be somewhere over here for um, if, if you have any questions. So let's get started. You know when you just, you're waiting for, for a, um, a god-given sign mm -hmm. and i'm definitely looking forward to hearing back from you let me know how thursday looks um for you and then we can just if thursday's fine then on wednesday we can most definitely just um plan for how thursday can go i mean you already sent the blueprint of um how we're gonna do the questions and everything but like on wednesday maybe we can do like a mock you know like a, a mock video like a mock trial basically but yeah everything seems good to do my giveaway winner and announce it on Instagram. Let's see who wins. Ooh, well, she's the winner. So I've announced the giveaway winner. You hear the samosas in the back. Next is making graphics. And I forgot to put on the list, but cutting onions. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the onions are cut. I went back and um, you know, just mix and like add a little bit more seasoning just to make sure that everything tastes right. The samosas. <laughs> are folded. I'm running behind on making graphics, but I know I'll make them like in five seconds. So um, I did say I was making samosas. It's because of the simple fact that when you're doing a business, let me when you're doing a business, you just want to make sure that you always have something to offer your clients um, to kind of just like retain clients. And so I'm doing free samosas for everyone that orders, no matter how much you spend today, that's what I'm gonna do. So that's why I'm making samosas. That's a little tip. Grilling the chicken when it comes to the chicken because of the specific dish that i'm making i i cook it like 85 percent so that it can finish cooking when it's like like mayo sauce now we're just finally going to get on to doing the graphic And so now I'm about to make up the post of the thing that I just made. So I go to my Eat Shayaya folder and then I go here and I basically copy and paste this format. And then paste it here. 
but be original people don't do what I do <laughs> but yeah um make sure that it's set to share on Facebook I share and okay there we go it posted I support myself so I'm gonna be my first like and then I go back to the comments copy this that's all copied I go to the comments and I paste post and then I go and you know you are your own cheerleader and I repost this so this is basically how I do that I'll probably go in and add some cute gifs just to kind of make it appealing and then I'll like use other apps to kind of like spruce up my insta story so yeah graphics is out of the way and now let's go to the next thing on the list so I forgot to put on my video that the next thing on my list was to enforce a stricter closing time and I did so politely so here we are all right next thing but the time is officially 1 30 and i'm now open for business this is the person's order and um yeah this is pretty much how it goes so i get an email and a notification and then i start cooking it so right now i'm cooking the person's food i'm going to try to take you guys along with me as much as i can because this is about to get hectic I literally just sold out of my goat meat it's only been 32 minutes I can't really show you on the other side because that's where people's information is, but yes, I'm most definitely selling out. It is only 2.02, I opened at 1.30. Now it's 2.03, I opened at 1.30, and I have sold out of Dubba. This is actually a record. I'm so happy for myself. Ugh. that I'm plating right now is called Pude Mayo. It's chicken mayo that's grilled. So I'm basically plating that for a customer that should be arriving in a couple minutes. Only now I have like a nice little like photo taking session and I do videos and everything with the food. What? business is closing in about two hours this is the the um time of the day where i start getting creative um in terms of like posts that i do right now i really want to to sell out of my pude mayu i'm basically setting up a little photo shoot here in my kitchen i do so with my ring light that i used to film my youtube video so i'm setting that up um to promo i'm gonna do a pude mayu special a full plate of pude mayu that you normally get well when you get like half a plate for $12 with um, with Kwanga, you can just get the full plate without Kwanga, but for um, $15. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Currently waiting on someone to come and pick up their food in my but yeah. I also do like full trays, and I feel like people forget that, but it's time to start selling everything again. So I'm gonna keep y'all in the loop. It's like six-ish. I'm waiting on time to get closer so I can drop his samosas in the, in the um, oil, but his food in my is already ready, so these are like always how I do my setups and everything like the ring light the light and everything and I try to just right now it doesn't look right but you'll see in the picture <laughs> the work day is done I literally just served those are strawberries by the way that's my biggest flex everything i can't show it to y'all y'all can a moment to kill me but literally my whole house is surrounded by fresh like fresh ingredients mostly most of the things that i used to cook honestly come from my garden i don't buy them unless it's like bell peppers or whatever but really or onions but everything else we have in here pretty much um the day was great i sold out of Daba. I'm going to push for Pude Mayo. I might just open up tomorrow just to, because I really try to like, you know, get out the stock so I can bring in new stuff. I really appreciate everyone who supported me. I met my goals. Let me get my notebook so we can read today's goals. So today's goals were to remember customer service. Oh no, the affirmations. The affirmations will, you will sell, sell out of all things. I'm so grateful because I sold out of one thing. Um, and practically almost all the Kwang, I only have three left. That's that's a lot um you will get new clients i literally got was able to retain two new clients today or three actually you will not get stressed i wasn't stressed at all today and it helped me remember that god was in control 
so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys like these kinds of videos let me know i think i'm just gonna make this a series so like comment subscribe and dm me on instagram any other questions that you have regarding my business and how i run it peace <laughs>